Good morning. It's morning time for me. So it is now Sunday. It is 11.13. I'm getting a late start, but that's fine because it is what it is. When I'll start, <clears throat> I'll start and then I'll get done when I get done and I'll finish what I'll finish. And I'm not going to put no pressure on me. A lot of Sundays, I start first thing in the morning. I may do laundry. My OCD kicks in. Uh, I change the sheets. I vacuum. I sweep. Whatever needs to be done. Cook, clean. Um, everything. Um, as for a lot of households that um, I am familiar with, they are the same way. But for me, because I get tired so quick, I still want to get it done. But by the time I lay in that bed, I am exhausted to the point where I think I might not be able to work the next day. So I've been being pretty mindful on trying to avoid that. Get done what needs to get done. And um, don't stress myself. Don't wear myself out. And working on how to avoid being in so much pain from feeling like I'm doing nothing. Like if I'm doing laundry, I take the laundry basket downstairs and I put it in the laundry. I bring the clothes back up and I sit on the couch and I fold them. Why am I so exhausted? Like, but <clears throat> my legs, my feet, they be overwhelmingly no, I wouldn't say overwhelming. I might be exaggerating. But I do be very tired to the point where I'm walking different. I'm tired. I'm like, don't ask me for another thing because I am tired. And I want to avoid that. So, um, I'm going to start um, by saying what it is that I need to do for today as far as prepping and everything. I'm going to show you my list of the things that... Um, I plan on cooking and um here we go all righty and here we are so like i said um in a previous video um i use the savory magazine and i see what kind well it doesn't have to be just a savory magazine savory um is a magazine that comes from my giant supermarket and um I've been noticing that they have a lot of good recipes. Like, not only do they look pretty decent when you make them, they come. They have been coming out pretty good. And um, I have not received any complaints since I've been um, coming up with recipe. Well, um, pulling recipes from that magazine. So I've been sticking to it. Um, I've been looking for more, but I don't want to. It, I just rather the paper i like to be able to pull it out and put it down and not have to keep looking on my phone for different things so i can have everything in one spot um so that's my little weirdness but i'm okay with it okay so for this week we're going to do a bacon wrapped pork loin i don't have uh, prosciutto but i have bacon so we're going to use bacon i'm trying to use what we already have so i didn't have to go out and purchase as much um we're going to do a deer brisket I, if i can call it that maybe a deer stew um we have a chicken in the refrigerator and we're going to i'm going to make myself a chicken and potato stew whoever's welcome to um if you heard that i apologize excuse me um, I'm going to make myself a chicken and potato stew and whoever wants some is welcome to it. Um, but they're not big on soup. So, and then I'm going to try out this, um, empanada dish. So, um, I'm still not quite sure as to what order we're going to eat it in. Um, this is probably definitely going to be like a Wednesday, Thursday meal. And this is probably going to be, you know what? I'm going to see what is still frozen and what's not. I think we want to do this for today. And then maybe this for um, maybe like uh, depending on 
how this may last um sunday and monday and then this would could last uh tuesday i don't know about wednesday so it's um I try to not be so rigid anymore because I'm like, no, that is for Tuesday. You cannot eat that till Tuesday. And they're looking at me like I'm crazy. And it probably does sound crazy. So, okay. I'm not going to be as rigid. This is something that um, I think would be pretty healthy and tasty. And so I'm going to make this. This will be for me. So if I say, let's say if it did last Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and then thursday that would be great and if they um are still hungry they can uh, fill up on this this is hearty and then you know i can also put um other things in there but this is the base for now so i'm going to see what i will need to um start getting the prep done and um yeah let's get this setup started so um i don't know if i had mentioned that is um that may appear to be quite a lot of meat. Um, they are definitely needed to use in this house. I try to cut back on the meat. But if I do not have meat in one of our dishes, they are upset. Where is the meat? We want the meat. We're not super healthy. We don't want to be super healthy. So um, you didn't see any vegetables, but there will definitely be sides in um every dish um so i do throw the vegetables in there not just like a sprig of broccoli here and there no they get vegetables um so i am looking now to see what the size will be for each meal and um trying to um when i went to the store the last time um the fish seemed pretty pricey for the um farm raised i mean for the um wild caught fish and um i didn't really want to get farm raised i try to be really particular on the meat that i buy but i'm realizing that these stores last so much you really don't even know what you're getting so it's like do you spend the extra money on the fake grass-fed beef or grass-fed meat or do you just go ahead and get like the regular meat like because you really don't know what the, they will put anything on the label just to get it sold and just to hike the prices up so you really don't know um and um i tr like i said i do try to get like a better quality but if you're buying it from a store you really don't know because they lie and even going to the farmer's market like people are like oh yeah go to the farmer's market i've been to the farmer's market a couple of times has it been a couple i've been to the farmer's market and um something that was on sale they was like uh this is um organic eggs and grass fed or whatever whatever um he tried to claim and it was not i cracked those eggs and the shell was thin it was yellow i said oh yeah you got me because these were you went to the store you bought these eggs and you changed the packaging or did whatever it is you had to do um so you can't trust the farmer's market all the way either so yeah um i was just looking i said um yeah it seems like a lot of meat but um yeah they are definitely meat eaters so yeah i do try to make the meat quality a little bit better so that um it's not so bad and i don't feel so bad and um the next time i go to the store i will make it my business to incorporate more uh fish um whether it's costly or not because um it's just a lot that we are having um excuse all the ums and i say so a lot and i suck my um i, I do that a lot i don't even notice it until i'm watching the playback but uh we're having a lot of pork and beef and yeah so <laughs> here we go again but um i'm definitely being more mindful like every month i go i'm more mindful of Especially starting these videos and I'm watching what I'm what we're doing, not just putting stuff out there, is becoming more um evident. So I am yeah, becoming more aware of how much of the same thing we're eating. So I just wanted to throw that in here real quick. Okay guys. 
All right, guys. So, um, I'm looking at my recipes and I'm seeing that I do not have a lot of the essential ingredients. Um, I think I eyeballed them and like, oh yeah, I got that, I got that, I got that. And then realized I don't got that. <laughs> so what I did was I took my, um, deer leg and I just put it in this crock pot. I put, uh, some carrots. I cut them in half. Um, so I also took a uh, bay leaf, some rosemary sprigs, some onion, uh, chopped up some garlic and I put them in here and then I'm going to take my bone broth Oh, excuse the back um, I'm going to take my bone broth and just put it in there and I'm going to hope for the best um, because yeah um, I don't know what I'm doing with this right here I could wake up my other half and ask him like what does he recommend but I'm just not going to do that right now I'm just going to do this and I'm going to hope for the best um yeah that's what I'm going to do so I was going to put two pieces of meat but if I ruin this then um he's going to be side eye me like you could have just asked me and yeah so we'll see guys so um I'm putting some some kale on um, I put it in some bone broth. And, well, I'm going to put it in some bone broth, some rosemary, some garlic, and an onion. And I'm going to let that cook. I'm getting sleepy and it's only almost 1 o'clock. And I told you I woke up at like 10.30. It's crazy. But um, I'm going to push through. Because if I take a nap, I'm not. I'm going to be up all night. Now, f now for a little update. Uh, something's done. I just don't remember what I did. This is the trials and tribulations of having the worst memory in the world. My timer went off, which means something is ready. I have no idea what. Something. Oh, my eggs. I made eggs. So for breakfast, I finally took a break, which is 1.30 in the afternoon. But I made a sandwich. So this is um some kind of whole wheat bread. I put... um green peppers tomatoes a little bit of cheese and um that's going to be breakfast so i'm going to have to find something to do with those tomatoes i had some green peppers i have two more to do i had some green peppers that i needed to um cut up and freeze so i cut some up cubes and some up um i'm gonna do one in one for the other two um but actually i might use those green peppers so i might not have to um freeze those um and i got my frittata about to come out the oven let's check on it and here we are we have a frittata this will be breakfast for um i don't know how many days because depending on the appetite um <clears throat> depending on the appetites uh they may go quick or not so um i will let everyone know that it's available <coughs> oh i should have put tomatoes in there see I never remember until it's too late. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Um, so, yeah, this will uh, deflate some and I will check it to make sure it's cooked all the way through. And that will be breakfast for at least Monday. All right, guys, it is now 637. I believe I've had some breaks and I've been doing a bunch of different things, but I got this chicken on the stove. I've never done it like this, but I've seen someone do it and I wanted to try it out. Mm. Then I have the um, pork tenderloin that was wrapped in bacon. Um, I made some rice. I also made um, the filling for the empanadas that I have coming up. So I am getting things done in this kitchen um i do take my time i don't know how people do things in an hour i think because they have help or maybe they just stay focused and they don't get distracted but yeah i guess i gotta go at my own pace so i'm going to wrap this video up hold on one second yes uh as you see i um was also doing my hair so um i'm going to either braid this or flat iron it i don't know but um yeah i'm gonna wrap this video up so i got a couple of things going they have options um and 
I also, oh yeah, I took my greens. I had made some kale, and I put that in the crock pot with the um, with the deer. So I can't wait to see how that comes out because it seems like it's gonna be tough. But I had it in the crock pot for a couple of hours now, um, and I'm gonna keep it for a couple of hours longer. Um. So yeah, that's about it. Um. I don't feel like continuing to record, but yeah. You have options for the for the week, and um, I'm sure I'll have to. Um, am I recording? I am recording. I'm sure um, I will have to also add to the dishes, but it's fine. I just want to get the bulk items done so that when I come home, it doesn't have to be a full meal. And remembering to throw out the meat, remembering to get things from the store like everything is basically done the most i'm gonna have to do is like a side so hope you guys are enjoying your sunday you've had a great week